Let's learn all about how to use Google Docs. We're going to learn how to add a capital, space, and period on our writing, just like we do during writing time on paper. On our keyboard, I'm going to show you how to find these important buttons, our shift key, our backspace key, or delete key, our space key, and a period so that we can write great sentences when we're typing. When you open your Google document, you can see a big piece of paper. This is our writing paper. When you click on your Google Doc, you see a black flashing line. This is called our cursor, and it shows us where our typing will go when you start typing your letters. Let's try typing a sentence. To get a capital letter when I'm typing, I hold down the shift key. I'm circling it on my keyboard picture right here so that you can find it on your keyboard. There's a shift key on both sides of your keyboard, and it doesn't matter which one you use to type a capital. You have to hold down the shift key, and while you're holding down the button, type a letter. See if you can find the shift key on your keyboard. I'll keep typing. I'm going to type the sentence, my name is Casey. After I type a word, I'm ready for a space. The space bar is the long button at the bottom of your keyboard because we use it a lot. I can click the space bar one time and it just creates a small space just like a finger space when you're writing. And I can type another word. My name space is space Casey. And I need a capital again so I know to hold down my shift key when I type the first letter of my name. And now I'm ready for the period at the end of my sentence. To type a period, I can just click my key with the period on it one time. Now this key is highlighted blue on my keyboard and it's just in the row above my space bar. See if you can find the period on your keyboard. I can click it one time and it will make a period on my sentence. I clicked my period two times, so I want to get rid of one. Sometimes that happens when we're typing and I can erase it just like I can do when I'm writing for real. I can use the backspace or delete key on my keyboard to do that. I can click my delete key just one time and it'll take away the last thing that I typed. You can keep clicking it to erase more than one thing. Just tap it so that way you aren't erasing too many different things. You can pause the video right here if you'd like to keep the keyboard up while you're typing and remember where those important keys are that you need and happy typing.